Let's get straight to it. I think this whole independent woman is a scam. Hear me out. I've been working since the age of 16 and I'm pretty successful in my professional life. But when you're so used to providing for yourself as a woman, you lose that feminine touch in you. And I think when it comes to my dating life, I've mostly attracted narcissists because of this reason. I guess because narcissists want to go for the strong independent woman. They want something out of that relationship basically want to use her and manipulate her. It's an ego boost for them to manipulate such a successful woman. But when it comes to men who actually want to love you and care for you, those men don't care about how much you make, what you do, because they know that they have to provide because they are the man in the relationship, regardless of what you make. I wish I had known this sooner, mm. but now that I do know, I'm just not really about that independent woman life. As a woman, I just want to be that nurturing spirit around a man not any man i mean my partner and i want him to lead not saying that i can't lead but i'm just saying that as a woman it's not my job to provide my job as a woman organically is to nurture you can disagree if you want but i'm just talking from experience number one this is what kevin samuels has been trying to tell women for the past two years and a lot of them don't want to listen Number two, Fresh and Fit been trying to tell y'all females that having a successful career is not going to make you guys happy, generally speaking. And a lot of times women end up end up being lonely because they're not as attracted as they were in their 20s. And now they're 40 years old and they are lonely. The good thing is she realized early enough she still looks attractive and she still seems fairly young. Number three, this is a message to all you independent women out here who love being independent. If you become an independent woman, all you're going to attract is narcissistic men who don't like to be men. They like to be with a successful woman so they can mooch off successful women. Yeah, you know, I spend the majority of y'all youthful years trying to be successful, climbing the corporate ladder. Now I'm gonna show y'all an example, sadly, of a 24 year old lonely female. Um, so I'm 24 years old and I've lived in New York for about five years now. And one of my largest problems that I've ever faced is m my feeling of loneliness. And I'm not just talking about feeling lonely here and there. I'm talking about an overwhelming and crippling feeling of loneliness. And I don't even I don't even work from home. I work with people every single day, but there just became a point where it felt like everyone around me had somebody. Everyone around me had somebody except for myself. And I would never wish that feeling of loneliness on anybody. I don't think that any of us should have to experience life alone. And I do have great people in my life that I can count on, but there's just something about being a person's priority, a person's number one, someone that you know you can rely on. And I just don't feel like I'm that in anybody's eyes. And that's the reason why I feel like sometimes the loneliness just gets to be a little too much. A little too much. And I'm not going to lie. Y'all might call me a simp for this, but I actually felt sad when she was crying. I did. Like, I genuinely felt sad for her. Like, man, it's, I want her to be happy. Especially if she's really a good woman. Now, there's no there's no way to really know that in like a one minute video. But I'm just saying, you know, now I'm not going to lie. The first thing I thought was maybe she, she needs to lose some weight. That's probably why dudes not, aren't approaching her or don't want to be with her and stuff like that. But then when I look at a, a, a picture of her, she doesn't seem too obese. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, especially in my community, a lot of women, a lot, I mean, a lot of men like them thick women. So she's fairly attractive. So what is the issue here? I know plenty of men personally who would like, who would who love a, to date her. So it, might, it could be something else. It could be her personality. She could be annoying. I don't know what it is. But I truly hope she finds someone or someone finds her, a man finds her that truly loves her and values her and appreciates her for her. I truly, I, I hope she doesn't go through that loneliness anymore. I, I, the human side of me really, I don't, I don't want her to go through that. The human side of me felt sad for her. I'm going to leave this up to y'all. Why do y'all think that she's going through that? 